Hey there guys, so Better Call Saul, the new show has premiered several weeks ago, but I'm just catching up to it now. I PVR'd a lot of the episodes, what are they on, like episode 8 now? So I'm going to talk about all those episodes individually, and then I guess with the finale I'll go over the whole season, which is different, you know, with uh, Dexter, Orange is New, Black, Breaking Bad, I just reviewed the seasons as a whole. But that was different. Whole seasons had gone by and stuff. I'm going to have to do that with Gotham because I missed most of that show. But Better Call Saul, it's happening live still. I've got all the it PVR, so I'm just going to go episode by episode. So episode one, you know, uh, Bob Odenkirk is Saul. I believe the beginning takes place after. I think he's like in hiding. He's got a mustache. He's working as a, uh, what the hell was it? So working at a pizza place, I think it was, something like that. Then he goes back to his house and he's watching like old VCR tape footage of his Better Call Saul commercials. And then it goes in flashback. I think it's like 2001, something like that. So a little bit before Breaking Bad starts, a lot of places for the show to go until then. And uh, he is not Saul Goodman. He's Jimmy McCanlin, I think. I'm probably, I'm probably wrong about that name. There's like a couple names. There's a whole argument with a lawyer about why he can't use his own name. McCanlin, McCanlin, something, Jimmy McCanlin. Jimmy McGill, and then there's the Chuck McGill, and then there's Howard Hamlin. He's living with his crazy ass brother who's like, yeah, he's crazy, he's weird, he's he's got some sort of sickness, but he's gonna go better and work for the lawyer. Th Jimmy McGill's trying to branch out as his own lawyer, he's got troubles there. And uh, basically the main part of the episode, the most exciting, besides just all the good setup for Breaking Bad, you know, um, what's his name? Remember the damn name, dude. Mike is a toll booth worker, so Jimmy, I just want to call him Saul, okay? Can I just call him Saul for the rest of these videos? I don't like calling him Jimmy. It feels weird. Saul's his name to me. Saul's working at the uh, court thing, and Mike is there, and he's a toll guy that's like, you don't have enough stickers. It's money or stickers, and he keeps sending them back. But then Saul, he gets these two these two skateboarding dudes try to rip him off. They jump in front of his car, crash into it, and then so he's like, no, we can actually use this. He's going to try to use it against these people. He's trying to be their lawyer, so he's going to loophole them in. The skateboarder is going to be a ploy for him to become their lawyer, but they ended up hitting the wrong person's car that looked pretty much the same. They go back, uh, the skateboarders are like harassing her. By the time Saul catches up, he knocks on the door, gun in his face, and who pulls him in but Tuco. Okay, as a cliffhanger for the first episode of a show, that one got me hooked. I was like, even if this show had been ass, I would have had to come back next week to see what happens. But this show isn't ass, this show is awesome. Bob Odenkirk as Jimmy McGill, soon to be Saul Goodman, I guess. I don't know even know how long it's going to take for him to change his name. I hope by the end of the season, at least. But Bob Odenkirk is fantastic, just as good as he was in Breaking Bad. And he's an interesting character. Some spin-offs is like, oh, they take what's a fun character and then he doesn't work in his own show. He works in this show. I love just watching him and how his life works. He's awesome. And you got some great supporting characters. The other lawyers and stuff. Mike is the toll booth worker slash troll under the bridge. You must pass. You need the stickers. But yeah, Bob Odenkirk steals the show like he should. He's really entertaining, and I look forward to seeing how the show is going to go over time. I imagine eventually we're going to get some Breaking Bad cameos from Walter or Jesse. Is it really worth giving a letter grade to individual episodes? I feel like I, sh I could, but it feels more like just by the end of the season, give the season overall a little grain, but I guess episode to episode I'll do it too. This first episode gets an A. It's really good and I'm excited for the whole season. Comment below, tell me you thought of episode one and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.